Get back on our... Grab yourself a coffee, <laughs> tea, some everyday fit, join us. Yes, there we go. What up, Fit Fam? How's it going? There we go. All right. Now we're live where we're supposed to be. All good. This is what happens when you go live. It's not always perfect, and that is okay. All right. Are we good now? Yes. All right. We're all set. All right. Perfect. Okay, Daniel. Uh, this guy, I so you guys, before we opened up our, um, our boot camp, uh, Daniel used to travel like crazy for his job and he still yeah. does travel a lot. So um, you've been on ton of airplanes. What are some, some good tips for, for everybody? Yeah, well first off, um, I'm a big fan of, of intermittent fasting. So whenever I do have like a, a long travel planned ahead, I, I try to do that on the day that I'm traveling just because there's a lot of stress and overwhelm that comes with travel, you know, making sure you're on time for all your your, your, your airplanes and you know travel time to the airport and all this stuff so it can be very stressful um, and with stress comes with comes like bad habits you know wanting to just eat something very quick and easy probably probably reaching for some sugar or some like heavily processed snacks so um, I just try to try to practice some discipline and just don't don't eat a whole lot while I'm traveling so just stick to a lot of water um, high protein low carb type of stuff um, I would much rather um, fast and and just then then pick up like some unhealthy food like at the airplane because obviously at airplane travel they don't have healthy options I would much rather just wait until I I land and then I'm able to go to like a grocery store and get some healthier foods um, so that's that's one one thing that I do um, if you're not a fan of fasting or if it's hard for you to do that again just stick to um, high protein low carb stuff like protein shakes uh, protein bars you can take protein bars with you everywhere um, when I'm traveling, I usually have a, a box in my bag or um, with me everywhere I go. Um, and I always uh, make sure to try to do like, mix my protein shakes uh, before I travel as well too. So I'll, I'll put like all my protein powder in a Ziploc bag. Um, for example, we're gonna be going to Las Vegas next week and then to Zion National Park. So we have a 10 day travel uh, trip ahead of us, Susie and I. Um, so I'm gonna be preparing all my, my baggies, I'm gonna put my protein powder, uh, my uh, ageless greens, um, and a couple other things in there. So that way I have one for each day, so I make sure I get plenty of protein each day, even though I'm traveling. Um, and just makes it super simple and easy. Um, you can travel with that stuff in your bag as well, too. You can put it in your check-in bag or when you're carrying But now on. we have these. Yes, oh uh, yeah. Should I get them in easier, single serving? Single serving, yes. so yes, this is gonna make my life even easier this trip. <laughs> these are brand new. And yes. the ageless. I completely serving. forgot about that, so. Perfect. No more Ziploc bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's gonna make uh, packing very easier. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. That's like so perfect for this Yeah, time. Exactly. Especially, I mean, obviously the protein, uh, Cans are so big, so putting that in your luggage, yeah, you know, you <laughs> like shoes or protein, right? <laughs> so these are perfect for traveling. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Nice. So yeah, I, I just try to stick to eating healthy. If there's not a healthy option, I'll just wait to eat later. Uh, not a big deal. Um, I, I just much rather prefer that than putting unhealthy processed food in my system. Um, just never really goes well. So I, on the other hand, have to eat. Like I can't fast. I start getting weak and lightheaded. <laughs> Um, but I do make sure that I eat something before I go to the airport. Um, if I do have to pick something up at the airport, I try, I try to do some kind of like a fruit. Um, or like Daniel said, we usually have protein bars with us. Um, I'm a big fan of That's It bars. Um, so I usually have a few of those with me. Um, and of course, like my water and stuff. But I can't, I can't go without eating. <laughs> yeah, traveling dehydrates you, especially being in an airplane. So making sure you're drinking plenty of water, especially when you land. Um, just chug as much water as you can so that way you're, you're rehydrated um, so that way also too like you may feel like you're hungry but you're really you're dehydrated so getting some some good water will, will help uh, you know push off those uh, those negative side effects of traveling so yes and throw some everyday fit in there so <laughs> yeah. you're feeling extra Perfect. good <laughs> nice um, yeah I've actually tried the fasting thing with Daniel on one of our trips I forgot where we were going but like I actually really enjoyed it because it did help like not just knowing that like I'm not gonna eat made it so much easier to not pick up unhealthy snacks um, and you know when they offer you it in the airplane too uh, but with that you guys like even just pack your own healthy snacks I always like to make my own trail mix because I will get nuts and, and dried fruit and stuff that don't have 
um, you know, excess salt or like added sugars. So I like to make my own because if I wait to get to the airport, it's really hard to find any that, that are just clean and natural. So I might, I make my own trail mix for the plane. And then when they come around and offer you the little free snacks, know that it's okay to say no thank you. <laughs> you just, just pretend you're asleep. <laughs> you know, and, like, and always take the free water, but you don't have to take the free snacks. Okay, um, that's what I do. I just like, even if I do want it, I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> and just be prepared, take your own. Um, what, uh, what protein bars do you recommend? Uh, Quest bars are my favorite. Uh, great in protein, very low. I don't think they have any sugar at all. Um, that's basically all I stick to is the Quest, Quest brand of stuff because I trust them and they make really good products. So when it comes to like bars or, or um, I think they made like protein chips now, which are oh, great. Oh yes, those which are really We absolutely good. love. We have those in here in the studio all the mm -hmm. time. Um, but when it comes to like the powders and stuff, I, I use our brands, the Truly and Supplements. Yeah, for sure. We need to come out with some protein bars. Truly. You. Yes. <laughs> uh, what about you guys? Any any tips for on the airplane? Uh, on the airplane, guys. So you know, we always get a carry-on bag, and you actually get a pers the personal bag. For those of you who do not know, doesn't count. So that's like. It could be a purse, it could be a backpack. That's personal, doesn't count. So what I do is I have my, if it's just like for a couple days, obviously I'll get a carry-on. I don't have to get like a whole luggage, check it in, all that stuff. But um, I load up my carry-on, my personal bag with like my protein, I bag it just like um, Coach Daniel right here. Um, he, I put it in a Ziploc bag, so that's, I'll have it already pre-made in a sense without the water. So I have the stuff that I'm gonna use in my protein and make sure that it's in there. As far as, um, for, that goes for my protein and my protein bars and any other um, things that I can eat and munch on in the plane, um, that's what I'll do, I'll put it in my bag. Um, and I just have it there for the rest of the day. I put my uh, vitamins also. All those stuff right there, yes. it's gonna be good. When when I get to the place, um, before I travel anywhere, I always look up where I'm staying. Obviously, we know we have to know where we're gonna stay. So I look at like the facilities around there for to work out. So I always try to make sure that there's something nearby, um, or where I'm staying has a gym right there, um, so I can work out. Otherwise, like I freak out and I just won't go there. <laughs> so um, I have to have to have like either in in the facility where I'm staying, and it has to be a, a gym there or something nearby where I pay the like. Past the, the day fees, and um, I, that usually works out super good with that. I always just try to stay active and on top. I do not miss a day, I don't miss my meals, and I, I stay on track of my stuff. And um, I, the first thing I do when I land is obviously get my stuff, go to my Airbnb, and look up the nearest grocery store. So, um, yeah. and then go do my grocery shopping. I see what I have um, at the Airbnb because sometimes they supply you with like. I don't know, cooking stuff or pans or whatever, and sometimes they don't, so you gotta have to get it. Um, so that's what I do whenever I travel over on a plane like that, so. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the biggest things for me. Any Anytime we're traveling, I'm like, look for something that has a kitchen. <laughs> like, we need a kitchen. Um, because, you know, one of the first things that we do is go to the grocery store, we buy water, um, and just some, some basics like for breakfast. Um, so that, we, that way we can cook at home, or cook, at our Airbnb, Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> our temporary yeah, home, temporary home. Um, and, and do less of the eating out. Yeah, and even with that, you guys, if you're not going to be staying at Airbnb, if you're just going to be like at a hotel and you're not going to be cooking, like always pick up water on your way to your hotel. Like that's a must. Like go and grab like three, four gallons of water and take that with you because in the mornings, like you're going to be so grateful. That's like the, a must. Like we yeah. don't ever stay in a hotel without getting water. <laughs> we have gallons. Have and yeah. Gallons. Like we go through <laughs> gallons every time we travel, you guys. Like it's, it's a must. And then even, like I said, when you're traveling in the airplanes and stuff, like take your water bottle with you. You know, it has to be empty when you pass through security, but then once you're in there, you can fill up your water and that way you don't get dehydrated and you don't feel like, you know, mindlessly snacking on things that you don't need to be snacking on, so. Yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about working out. Uh, what, how do you guys stay fit when you guys are like, when you guys are away from, from home, when you guys are out and about? One of the first things I like to do as soon as I get there, you know, get my water, put my stuff down, and I either go for a run or I go for a workout and if, if there's a gym there. It just really helps me to like alleviate that travel stress and just get refocused. 
um, and then just start my, my, my trip on the right foot. So immediately when I get there, I, I start a workout um, and then I try to do it every morning um, throughout my stay there. So that way it just, it wakes me up. I'm on a, I'm on a good, good note for the rest of the day and, and it's, I just know my workouts are taken care of, um, which is different from when I'm here at home. Usually I don't always work out in the morning. It kind of varies depending on the day. But when I travel, I like to get it done first thing in the morning. Yes. So you guys, here's a tip, okay? Anytime you're traveling, pack workout clothes and <laughs> shoes, okay? Yes. Like no matter where you're going, who you're going with, like you gotta start your trip off with having that intention that you're gonna work out while you're gone and take your workout clothes, take your workout shoes. I don't ever travel without taking it. Do I use them 100% every single time? No, there's been times where I packed a bunch of workout clothes and I didn't use it, but like, how are you gonna do it if, you don't, if you're not prepared for it? So yeah, yeah. pack your clothes and your shoes. It, and if you can, if you're not going on an like, airplane, if you're driving or whatever, take a yoga mat with you too. Carry a yoga mat with you. One thing I do too, I know it can be a little difficult to take like as much clothes as you want. So when I travel, I make sure my gym clothes are very like lightweight breathable material to where I can like I, I can wash them in the shower with me and then let them hang dry in my room because I you know I don't want to carry all kinds of extra clothes um, so when I'm traveling I, I do that dry fit material um, I usually only take like two or three pairs of like the shirt shorts um, and then I just wash those in my room and I let them hang dry after I get out of the shower and then that way it reduces the amount of clothes that I have to take with me traveling so that's nice. super helpful. Never thought about that. I yeah. just take a bunch of workout clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we just take three bags. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. I do okay. feel like when we when we travel, um, we always do some kind of outdoor hike, mm -hmm. um, yeah. a, a walk, something in nature. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's usually something in our plan. Yeah, yeah, that's a great way. Like you guys, you know, like if you guys are you're on a vacation. A lot of people like to um, at least like one day out of their vacation try to get up early to watch the sunrise like combine that with going for a walk or going for a run early in the morning and then that's like a, a great way to catch the sunrise it's like you're sweating and the sun's coming up it's beautiful you're at this amazing like location it's awesome um, I know that like even on my honeymoon like Sergio and I got up early and we went for this massive run um, to watch the sunrise and it was awesome and then on the way back like you stop you get breakfast and then you go about your day so and that's the other important thing to like try to get your workouts done early in the morning like first thing before you start you know on with your day and, and uh, before you get into everything else that you got going on um, or like Susie said like go explore like if you're going somewhere look up a hiking trail and then go and explore uh, some beautiful scenery wherever you're at yeah that's, that's the way to go. You normally, I haven't been uh, flying anywhere, um, but I have been driving more, and that's more me too. I just normally just drive places. So what I what I like to do too, guys, um, I meal prep my meals, um, so that way I don't cheat um, or have a lot of cheap meals. So I already know what I have to eat, and I give myself a little bit of space so that like I can have dinner out somewhere at a restaurant if I want to. But I don't I don't um, just like put all my meals and like, okay, I'm gonna eat over there. I don't do that because I don't trust myself. I know what I'm capable of and I can eat out a lot and uh, fall out of my, my routine. So like, I tried to definitely like, when I went to LA this past weekend or a couple weekends ago, um, I meal prep, put it all in my cooler. I had all my stuff ready. I knew the gym I was gonna go to or work out, actually work out the other fit body and um, over there and like, I just like, did my hikes as well, and my friend has an indoor uh, gym at his house, so when, if I couldn't work out anywhere, that's where I went to work out. So everything's already pre-planned, and it's already like, I already know what I'm gonna do, and like Coach Cap said, you have to have that intention, because if you know that you're gonna go somewhere, and you don't have that intention, more than likely, you're gonna fall off track, you're gonna mm -hmm. come back, it's gonna be even harder to get back on track, because you're gonna feel out of whack, you're gonna feel out of place, and then you're gonna play catch up, the whole time right there and it's just harder to get back on it when you fall off of that routine so definitely stay on top of it um, I know I try to do that I take my protein I take everything that I need that I know I'm gonna need to keep on that and I just I honestly stay consistent to what I'm already doing now the only difference is you're traveling somewhere else and you may do other adventurous things but you still have to stay on top of your healthy habits. Like that's like your life right there. So it shouldn't be that much harder or you should, you're not changing like a 360 right here. You should just, it should just be like, 
you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, in a different place. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Try to stay consistent, yeah. yeah. Um, if you identify as a healthy and fit person, you will continue doing that on vacation. Yes. So, so do that. Keep that in mind. So let's talk about eating when you don't meal prep. <laughs> 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 so um, I, I was actually telling them earlier that that's just something that I do in general here, even when I'm not traveling, because there's always some kind of event that somebody's inviting you to, some wedding or a birthday party or something's going on. Um, and, you know, even if we're just going out to eat at a restaurant, I kind of find myself modifying what I'm ordering anyways. Like, don't be afraid to do, make substitutions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you want tacos, turn it into a lettuce taco, like ask them, and they'll definitely do it for you. Um, I recently started following a vegetarian diet, and sometimes these plates look so good, but they have meat on them. So I'll ask them for, for something different, and I ask for the meat on the side, and I give it to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I, I always substitute like I don't um, I don't make myself feel like I can't eat because you you can eat you just have to make better choices um, and then also being familiar with the restaurants that are around in your area right so you know and I've been more thoughtful of this now because if we're gonna go eat I'm like okay well do they have vegetarian options because you know I'm limited so I'm kind of more aware of what the restaurant is serving so that way when I go in I know what I'm gonna ask for versus going there and being like oh like they don't have anything for me and then I'm gonna choose something that I shouldn't be eating yeah that's a really good idea also like for me um, when I order stuff um, I stay within what I for me um, don't judge me <laughs> uh, I not a big fan of trying new foods just because like it, if I don't know it, I don't like, I, I, with food, I don't like to try a lot of new things. I like to stay with what I know. So, um, you guys have been tracking your foods. You've been doing that now with the previous, the new year, new year challenge. Everyone was tracking it. And for those of you who are already tracking it and stuff, that's why it's good to track it because you start tracking it, you start knowing the portions, even though you don't have a scale, you know the portions, you, you kind of gauge it and you see, all right, this is what I normally eat. So then when you get your order, you eat around that same amount and you never fall off. You always stay consistent with what you already been eating and that's easy to order those things. Everyone, everyone has chicken, everyone has rice, uh, black beans, like they all have steak, all these things, these good things. Um, and you can stay within, um, like you could just gauge it and within the amount that you normally eat, because that's what I do. If I'm gonna go out to eat, I order within what I've already eat, what I know what I, I eat, I'm supposed to eat, that is. And I stay within that, I don't always overeat. And I know, you know when you're overeating, like you feel stuck, <laughs> you feel like you're in a food coma, you shouldn't feel like that. <laughs> so, um, oh, man. yeah. Awesome. One thing that I always do whenever I'm out is like, um, <clears throat> always like anything like, no butter on anything like you know there's different things you guys i feel like stuff comes with sauces or butters and stuff like that like just ask for to have with, without that you know just yeah. like susie said like make those little changes don't be afraid to like ask your servers for that stuff they're usually very very cool about it yeah. um so yeah usually when you make those changes too um even like if you go through like a fast food restaurant um, even like on a road trip or something if you're doing that if you modify something they're gonna make it fresh for you um, I used to work at McDonald's like way back in the day. I'm not suggesting you go to McDonald's. <laughs> hey, you can but, get, if you're on the go quickly. Like, yeah, you but um, anytime that you would ask for fries with no salt, they have to make you a fresh batch because all of them have salt. Mm -hmm. So them just you just changing one little thing, they're gonna they're gonna make you something fresh. So change it. Yeah, mm, there you go. Alright, I've never had McDonald's fries without salt. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had McDonald's. I always feel like they never have salt. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. It's really so good. It's my college, college days. <laughs> oh man. Um, so you guys, you know, when you're, when you're on vacation, obviously like, like I got to say, like if you can stick to what you normally do is try to be consistent as possible, um, that's the uh, ideal thing to do. 
but also we know that that doesn't always happen. And you do eat a lot on vacation and you know, you try and get the, the food out wherever you're at. And that's why it's even more important to like stick to working out, stick to drinking your water, get your rest, like still stay on top of all the other healthy habits so you're not just completely off track with everything and you can still like enjoy the foods. Um, and one thing that I like to do when I'm on, when I go anywhere is I like to stretch a lot and do yoga and that helps because like when you're on vacation or you're out of town, like you tend to do a lot of walking. Um, so it's really good to stretch your legs out. Um, and again, like we might overeat a little bit or indulge in sweets. And when you do yoga and you stretch, like that really helps with your with your digestive system too. So it's just something great to do. And I always like, if I'm near a beach, I'm gonna be doing yoga and meditating on a beach um, or anywhere, it doesn't even matter. I just like to do yoga and meditate there. And I find that it helps to like, Give me more present and and helps me to really like enjoy where I'm at even more because you give yourself that time to like relax, um, be in the moment, and then just like really embrace where you're at and who you're with. So that's something too. If you do overeat, stretch it out, you guys. Work out. Do do a little workout in your hotel or at the gym nearby or something like or, that. Or I don't know, put on a Fit Body video. Exactly. Oh, yes. How did you forget about that? No, I was just I was kind of like leaning towards that a little bit, like. Because you know, we have the, the YouTube at-home workouts for you guys. Um, Tom was recently in Las Vegas, and he was like saying how he was getting up early in the morning doing our at-home workouts and like probably driving his neighbors crazy because they're like, they're probably just getting home from the casinos or whatever, and he's like up, getting ready, getting his workout Jumping in. around his room. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's always that available for you guys, Good too. job, Tom. And it's like 30 minutes out of all your day and your trip, like make that time for yourself. It's yeah. going to pay off and then you can go and enjoy your food or whatever it is that you've got going on <laughs> yeah just try to walk as much as possible too like if you're going sightseeing try not to do like you know ubers or cabs all the time like walk as much as you possibly can um, so that way you're burning some extra calories throughout the day as well too yes and stretch it out stretch it out all right cool, cool. what else Ooh. we got what we got going on over here? Oh, uh, well, what, what about supplements? You got these, oh. uh, the Sleep Well, our new supplement, <laughs> yeah. which would be really good to try um, when you're away to get so, some good sleep. I don't know about you guys, but when I travel, I have a really tough time sleeping um, in a, in a, because I'm not in at home. I'm in a completely different environment. Um, so I just have a really rough time falling asleep, especially that first night. Uh, I usually don't sleep very well. Um, and with a lack of sleep, your immune system starts to, to, to drop down a little bit. So I always make sure I carry something that has uh, high zinc in it. So that way it boosts my immune system, prevents me from, from getting sick. And plus when you're traveling, you know, you're coming across all kinds of different things. So um, I, uh, before the wellness shots came out, I used to carry around zinc with me and I used to do the, um, what's the, the travel one, the other travel medicine, the airborne. airborne. I used to carry, I used to carry airborne with me all the time. Um, but now I just, I stick to the wellness shots and I'll drink, um, when I travel, usually like three or four in a day, just because I, I feel like my immune system needs that extra boost. Um, we do have our sleep well products as well too. Um, I used to take melatonin every once in a while when I had that trouble sleeping. So, uh, this, this trip we have coming up, I'll be traveling with our sleep well, it has a little bit of melatonin and some other, um, sleep enhancing, uh, vitamins and minerals in there. So I'll definitely be traveling with that. Um, so it just makes your, your travel a little easier, helps you sleep better, and then boosts your immune system, which for me, like I said, because I have trouble sleeping, it's like, it's a, it's a necessity for me um, because I hate, tra I hate, you know, getting sick just because I'm traveling and I have all this stuff going on. Like, I need to make sure I'm on top of my game and this stuff definitely does help. Nice. This thing says it neutralizes caffeine, which is good because if you're drinking a lot of caffeine in, during the day and then you like, you're having trouble sleeping, this will help out. All right, I'm excited to try that. All right. So you guys, uh, do you guys have any um, tips or tricks or anything that you guys do or recommend when you guys go traveling? Let us know, drop it in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. Um, Lori says, can we get a workout at other Fit Body Boot Camps for free? Um, I did, did, how did yours go when you went down to the Fit Body? Did they charge you anything? No, you guys usually fit, other fit bodies are really cool. We've actually had uh, quite a few members that, 
uh, when they're going to be traveling, they'll they'll look up another to see if there's a facility nearby. And I don't think anybody has ever been charged. They're usually really cool. You just let them know, like, hey, I'm you know I'm coming from Vintage Fair. Like I'm just going to be in town, wanting to get a workout in, and they're usually very happy to have you guys. Um, I know we've had. Uh, clients that have come from you know fit bodies from down south and we've been happy to like let them join us for a workout so that's yeah that's another option you guys like look it up there's a bunch of them all over the place um if there's no one nearby you can more than likely get a workout in yeah and if you let us know we can reach out to them mm -hmm. too yeah yeah perfect and then Lori says she wants to travel with us <laughs> let's go Lori. <laughs> awesome um, you ready for that, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw another comment on here. Where did it go? Something about an ice chest. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, she, I, I think, think she was Lori just asking if she travels with an ice chest. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing. Yeah, that's 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 yeah so um, on this upcoming trip that Daniel and I have, we'll be going to Vegas for a few days and then we're going to be driving to Utah. So I'm pretty sure we'll probably pack an ice chest too. We're going to need to. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that trip. So just so you guys know, we're leaving on Sunday, flying out to Vegas. We have a mastermind conference. Cat will be meeting us up on Monday. Um, and then Susie and I won't be back until the 20th, which is a, a long trip, but it's awesome. We're excited. Yes. Very cool. It's, it's our turn for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to Vegas for the mastermind. Um, I'm not going to Zion with them, but uh, you guys have a great time when you guys are out there yes. um, hiking and Nature, yeah, nature, nature, do some grounding. You guys are out and about when you travel, do mm, grounding as grounding. much as you can. Yeah, if you guys are ever like traveling to different time zones, um, obviously, you know, there's that, that jet lag that comes with it. Um, I'm not going to get behind the science of, of all of it, but um, grounding does help. So, going outside once you, once you land, uh, go outside, get hydrated, um, and just go outside, do some grounding. So, you know, Find a patch of grass in front of your hotel or, or wherever you're staying or go for a walk on the beach um, and in your bare feet and that helps you just re reconnect and realign, um, get your circadian rhythm back on track. I know when we traveled to Miami um, back in January, the first thing we did, we went to South Beach and we were just running around the beach uh, for like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, did some grounding and I I had no jet lag whatsoever. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, no. and, and I attribute it to us doing that because that's like the first thing that we did when we got out there. So try doing that um, and then make sure to th throw in that water and then hopefully that helps with all the jet lag. Yes, and you guys still try to get your sleep in when you guys are, are traveling, you know. Um, depending on what you're doing, maybe you're out late or whatever, but still shoot for those seven to eight hours every single night, um, and you're going to feel really, really good, all right? Cool. All right, anything else we got on here? No? All right. That's it. Any other tips or tricks or anything? Have fun. Yes. <laughs> Have Do all fun. that stuff. Yes. Yes. Have fun on your vacation. Enjoy like, People are, I was so funny, like when clients go on vacation, they're always like a little nervous because they're like, they know there's going to be so much food and so much going on. At the same time, you guys like relax, enjoy it. Like, again, that's, that's why you guys are in here and taking care of yourselves on a regular basis so that you can live a healthy and fulfilling life. So like live it up, have fun with it and just try to stay as active as you can. Try to stay aware of what you're eating and your habits and be mindful of that stuff. Set an example for the people that you're traveling with, you know, and uh, enjoy yourself. You know, one week is not going to drive you, uh, it's not going to like throw you off crazy. Uh, but then when you guys get back from your travel, best thing to do is get right back into your routine. As hard as that might be, you just got home, you just, you're just kind of like, oh, I want to take another week off. Like, don't do that to yourself, okay? Everybody knows if you've ever taken two weeks off of boot camp, it feels like day one all over again when yeah. you come back. So yeah. just get back right away, you guys, and you'll feel so good. Sweat everything out. Get your body moving. Get back into your routine, um, and you'll be solid, all right? Awesome. Cool.
All right, you guys. Is that that? I think so. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love being here with you guys on Coffee with the Coaches. Um, and if you guys are watching the replay, also drop in the comments and stuff. Let us know where you guys are going, if you guys have any tips or tricks for everybody. Um, and we will see you guys next week. Well, we'll we won't see you guys next week, but uh, Coach Gus and the other coaches will be on here with you guys. So have an awesome day, right, you guys. Love All you right, guys. everybody. Hands in right here, everyone. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Family!